Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through coordinate geometry. So, what is coordinate geometry? Well, coordinate geometry is the study of the geometric properties of points, straight lines and curves using algebraic methods. Now, the first result that I'm going to go through is how we calculate the midpoint between two points. If we have two points which form a line, so if one of the points has coordinates x1, y1 and the other having coordinates x2, y2, we can work out the coordinates of the midpoint and I've denoted the midpoint coordinates as x, m, y, m. And in order to work out the midpoint, the midpoint x, m, y, m between two points with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by so to work out xm all we do is add the x coordinates and divide by 2 so in this case it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and to work out the y coordinate of the midpoint all we do is add the y coordinates y1 plus y2 and divide by 2. So let's see this in action so let's take some examples and work out the midpoint uh, between each of the following pair of points. So here's example one. Find the midpoint between each of the following pair of points in part A, 1, 5 and 5, 3. So back to the paper and pen. So here's example one, part A. So in my first step, step number one, let me name the first coordinate x1, y1. So I'll call the first coordinate x1, y1. So x1, y1 is 1, 5. And the second coordinate I'll name x2, y2, which is 5 and 3. So it doesn't really matter which one you take as x1, y1 and which one you take as x2, y2. So for me, I named the first one x1, y1 and the remaining one named that x2, y2. So in step number two, so let's apply the formulae. So in order to work out xm, remember it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So in this case when we substitute our data in, x1 is 1 plus x2 which is 5 divided by 2. Okay. 1 plus 5 being 6, divide by 2 will give us an answer of 3. So 3 is the x coordinate of the midpoint. So let's work out the y coordinate of the midpoint, ym. So remember the formula, it's y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So if we substitute the data, y1 is 5 plus and y2 is 3 divided by 2. So let's follow through. 5 plus 3 is 8 divided by 2 gives us an answer of 4. So 4 is the y coordinate of the midpoint. So just to close this calculation, xm and ym, the coordinates of the midpoint are 3 for xm and 4 for y n. So this should be the solution to one part a. Okay? So let's go back to the screenshot. So for one part b we need to uh, calculate the coordinates of the midpoint for uh, minus two minus one and the second point has coordinates eight and seven. So back to the paper and pen. So in this case, remember step number one. Step number one is to name your coordinates. So I'm gonna name the first one, x1, y1. So x1, y1 is minus two, minus one. And I'm gonna call the remaining coordinate x2, y2. x2, y2 is seven, uh, eight and seven rather. So. In step number two, let's apply the formula. So the formula for xm is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. 
So when I substitute the data, x1 is minus 2 plus x2 being 8 divided by 2. So if I follow through the calculation, minus 2 plus 8 is 6 divided by 2 gives us a value of 3. So 3 is the x coordinate of the midpoint. Let's work out uh, ym also. So remember the formula for ym. So ym is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So if we substitute the data here, so y1 is, uh, y1 is minus 1 plus y2 which is 7 divided by 2. And if we follow through, minus 1 plus 7 is 6, divided by 2 gives us an answer of 3. So 3 being the y coordinate of the midpoint. So just to summarise here, so the coordinates of the midpoint xm and ym in this case are, for xm it's 3, for ym it's 3 also. So this should be the solution to part b. So that's how you would calculate the coordinates of the midpoint. So back to the screenshot, we have another result that will help us calculate the length or the distance between two points. So if we have two points with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2, I'm going to go through a formula in order to work out the length or the distance d. So d is the length or the distance between these points. So the length d between two points having coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by the following formula. d is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. So let's see this formula in action with an example. So uh, example one, find the length between the following pair of points and in part A, we have two points having coordinates. So the coordinate of the first point is 3, 4, and the coordinates of the second point is 5, 2. So let's see this result in action. Back to the paper and pen. So here is part A. So the first point having coordinates 3, 4, second point 5, 2. So in step number one, Step number one is I'm going to name my coordinates. So in this case, I'm going to take the first one to be x1, y1. So x1, y1 is 3, 4. And I'm going to take the remaining one to be x2, y2. x2, y2 is 5, 2. So this takes us nicely to step number two. And step number two is the application of the length formula. So in order to work out the length or the distance between the two points, and I'm going to use capital D. So remember the formula for D is the square root. So it's the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. So this is the formula. Uh, that we're going to be using in order to work out the distance or the length between these two points. So now we need to substitute the data. So it's the square root of. Now x1 is 3. So it's 3 minus x2 which is 5. So it's 3 minus 5 close bracket squared. Plus, and let me open up another square bracket. So y1 in this case is 4 minus y2 which is 2 close bracket squared. Okay. Now before I continue you could also write this formula as open a bracket x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So you can start with an x1 or an x2 but if you start with an x1 here, you need to start with a y1 here. And if you start with an x2 here, you need to start with a y2 here. 
So in this case, I'm going to be using x1 minus x2 squared. Since I'm starting with an x1, I need to start with a y1 here. So it's y1 minus y2 squared. If you're using x2 minus x1 squared, you need to use over here, or you need to write over here, y2 minus y1 squared. So let me continue with the calculation. So d is the square root of 3 minus 5 is minus 2, minus 2 squared is plus 4, plus 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So let me follow through. We're going to get an overall answer of root 8. Now using our knowledge uh, of thirds, root 8 is the same as root 4 times root 2. Root 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 2. And this is the value of d. So remember, d is the length or the distance between the two points. And for length or distance, we usually use units. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be 2 root 2 units. So this should be the solution to example 1, part A. So let's go back to the screenshots. So we have another part to do. So in part B, we need to work out the length or the distance between this pair of points having coordinates minus 3, minus 1 and 2, 4. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So minus three minus one and two four. So in step number one, step number one, as I did earlier, let me name the coordinates. So the first one, I'll name that x1, y1. So that is minus three minus one. And the second one, I'll call that x2, y2, which in this case is two, four. So this takes us nicely to step number two. So remember step number two. So in the earlier example, apply the formula. So a good starting point is to write down the formula for the length or the distance. So the length or the distance d has the formula square root. So it's a square root. And I'm going to start with an x1. So it's x1 minus x2 square plus since I'm starting with an x1 here, it's y1 over here, minus y2 square. So let me follow through the calculation. So it's square root of, let me open up a square bracket and substitute our data. So x1 is minus three. So it's a minus three minus, x2 is two, so two close bracket square. So let me extend this root. Plus, let me open up another square bracket as I've got y1. y1 is minus 1, minus y2, which is 4, close bracket, square. So let's simplify this. So let's see what we have as the answer. So we're going to have a square root. Minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. Minus 5 square is plus 25. Plus minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. Minus 5 squared is 25 also. So when we simplify further, we're going to have the root of 25 plus 25 being 50. Okay. And we can use our knowledge of thirds, so we can apply one of the rules to simplify this. Root 50 is the same as root 25 times root 2. Root 25 is 5, so it's 5 root 2 units. So that should be the answer for the length between these two points for part B. Okay? So... That completes this example and that sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like will be very much appreciated. Do practice related questions 
and I hope to see you again. Thank you.